Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video, we are going to talk about how you can automate your Facebook leads over Google Sheet. If you are going to run Facebook ads, uh, Facebook lead ads for your clients, for your business, you have to download the leads manually or Facebook does not have any way where you can automate or send all the leads to Google Sheet. Okay, so for example, this is our sheet, our Google Sheet, and we are going to need the information, name, email, phone number, city and the address and we are running an ad so let's say all the information that's all the leads that been that's been generated through the facebook uh, facebook ads we want the information over this sheet okay so that's like you know, what we are to achieve in this video and that's why we are going to set up an automation so that like you know you can receive all the leads over the sheet and you can also set up your follow-up campaigns emails texts and whatnot which is going to be uh, much easier uh, it's going to make your life uh, a lot easier for you and uh, for your clients as well because instead of downloading every single lead manually you can just automate this entire process through some softwares which we are going to discuss about um, and you don't have to worry about downloading these leads manually and updating it or populating it over the sheet so let's look into the ads first we are going to uh, let's say you want to launch an ad right and uh, we are talking about facebook lead ads right so Let's say you launch an ad and this is the basic ad. Uh, you have to create a lead form. You have to set up your ads. You have to select a page and everything. So once like, you know, you have your ad up and running, ready to uh, go live launch and uh, you have your page over here. You can select GMS right now. It's published. Uh, you can select GMS, which is like, you know, going to be the name of your company where you are going to run the ads with uh, or it's it can be your clients. Uh, page clients company so let's say you have your page you have your ad up and running you have everything so now what you can do you see this is going to be let's say let's duplicate a lead form and create it from scratch so I mean you can keep this entire thing as uh, same questions you can have full name phone email phone we are also asking about the city we are also asking about address so you can ask all these questions make sure that you have all the uh, columns in the google sheet as well so name email phone city and address name email phone number city and address that's all the questions that we are asking privacy policy uh, review you can review message for the leads one last step uh, you can just like you know go ahead and book the i mean do whatever it needs to be so now you have created the form let's upload a background picture All right, so we uploaded a picture for the lead form and now we have our lead form ready here. So for this uh, image, you can use any image that you that you want, but I would suggest you use the image from the ads. Most probably you'll get the option to do that. And since I was duplicating this uh, from a different page, that why, that's why it was not allowing me to add that image. So you can just like upload an image or you can use the same image as the ads. And now once like, you know, once you have your lead form ready, so you can access a lead form through your business suite. Let's say we created a new lead form. So let's see. Okay. All right. So uh, the name of the lead form was this, and this is, you can see this was created on 20, uh, 14th uh, September, which is today and uh, we can just like you know go ahead and see open it and if you want you can test the form itself okay so you can do the testing you can see if it's working so she uh, you can see all the phone numbers and everything street address xyz yep submit and you can log this part you can like can do so this is going to be once they submit the form you can either send them to calendar link you can send them to your website or whatever but what we have to do now we have a data in our lead form so what we can do um, we are going to use this software called zapier um, you can use other software which is like in you know, a pably but i think zapier is much better it's been in the business for it's been we've been uh, using zapier for a very long time you can see we are using it for all the clients so you can create a folder you can create a test lead form now once you have created this test what you have to do just like you know be uh, attentive to this part because this is the most important part and uh, once you create this folder i want you to create a folder for every time you're going to create a new uh, 
automation because this keeps things organized and I'm a huge fan of organization. So now you have, oh, can create a folder. Oh. All right, so once we have created a lead form, uh, <clears throat> now let's create a new app, okay? So we have to set up the workflow here. We have to set up the automation in a way that the leads needs, lead needs to flow from Facebook to your Google Sheet, okay? And then like, you know, you can also send it to uh, go high level. You can send it to other CRMs if you want, but like, you know, you, it's easier to set up the flow. And then like, you, know, you can also set up automations to send emails, text messages and whatnot. So once like, you know, understand how the flow works, you should be able to set up everything and you can send these, uh, you can set up these automations on your own. Okay, so let's understand how the flow works. All right, so uh, now we'll create a new Zap and we will understand how the uh, zap flows okay how the work flows and how the automation is being set up so the first thing the first point of contact is the facebook uh, facebook ads so this is what we are going to select facebook lead ads you see so facebook lead that is premium so you have to buy the subscription for your zapier once you have selected this so you have to like you know, kind of understand how it, it flows and that's how you have to set up the automation so it's it goes from facebook lead ads facebook ads then it goes to google sheet and then it goes to let's say if you want to add more automations let's say if you want to add it to go high level crm or uh, any other crm you can add that as well and let's say if you want to send emails text messages or whatever right so you can just like you know set it up uh, as you progress so let's choose the event uh, new lead we are going to select we are going to choose the account so we created it for, uh, using our account so that's what we are going to select uh, this is my account we are going to continue so page we are going to choose growth magnet studio uh, and now form so you remember the form that we created that's guaranteed closes okay which is uh, which was the form that we created if you check the name here it was created on 14th september so this is the form that we are going to choose make sure that you are choosing the right form the right page and the right account because without that if any any stuff any of these uh, steps are wrong you will not able you are not able to uh, connect the lead form to your zapier which is not going to be then like it won't work so click continue uh, you have to test a trigger so you remember we did a test okay so you see we did a test and this is now populating over here so we are going to continue with the select record now we are going to select google sheet once we have google sheet selected we are going to create a spreadsheet row because we want to create or we want to add a row uh, below and so on and so on so once we uh, once we are going to uh, create this spreadsheet row we are going to click continue we are going to choose the account so we created it using our account so we are going to select our account we are going to select continue we are going to select the drive it's going to be my drive my google drive a spreadsheet so we are going to use this spreadsheet uh, gms ads you see this is at the top uh, we are going to choose the worksheet which is going to be ads you see this is the worksheet now uh, we are going to match the columns this is going to be also one of the important part you have to match the columns so that the right data is being populated in the sheet so i think we already did that name so you match it with full name email you match it with email uh, phone you match it with phone number city you match it with city and address you match it with address so make sure that your entire details are correct and they are matched properly the columns are being matched properly once you click continue then it, it is going to ask you to test your step and once you do the test you will see uh, a test lead will appear once like you know you see so this appeared as we speak so once you get this test lead that means your automation is ready now you can publish this zap right so you can rename it so the way i rename these zaps uh, are simple i just like you know rename it by the flow that they are flowing so 
fb add to g sheet and if there's any other steps you can just like keep adding those steps so this like gives you an idea of what kind of setup you have done so you don't have to like look uh, into the exact sheet or the exact uh, zap you can do a bunch of other uh, things like you know you can just have to set up the workflow as you see fit uh, but in the beginning the first it has to be facebook or the source uh, if like you know, it's a landing page uh, lead it has to be a landing page let's say if you are using a landing page click funnel go high level funnel whatever you are using so in the beginning that's what the uh, funnel that's what the steps will be and then from there google sheet from there then you can like you know email text and other automations all right guys so i hope this video helps you out with your automations and uh, setting up your setting up your lead flow let me know if you like the video drop a comment um, and i will see you in the next video